Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Today, let's head into the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Or, the Shrine of Shirley, one or the other. I get them mixed up all the time. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is, I'm going to not only be showing you how you're supposed to solve some puzzles to get through here, but I'm also going to be opening up these chests, which are essentially useless, but I'm doing it to satisfy my OCD, as well as get a little more addition practice from fighting more enemies along the way, too. Can't go into the water there. But we can fight some new enemies around here, so let's see what we get this time. Okay, a new enemy, Gargoyle! Those guys can use a dark elemental attack on one of your party members. Hopefully it'll hit Rose if they do that, because she's, well, dark elemental, so that would reduce the damage. And she's also got pretty good magic defense to begin with anyway. I suppose I could have used a magic sig stone against the guy, one of those guys, but I didn't think that was necessary. I'm not really too concerned about Dart's addition practice at this point because he's getting pretty close to finishing up Burning Rush and uh, Volcano. Volcano! Alright, got him. But yeah, like I said last time, I want to try and finish up Rose's uh, Whip Smack edition by the time we get back to Lohan there. So I'd probably like to get her up to 70 uses by the time we get to the end here. And we are going... Well, nah, I won't spoil it. What's going on? Oh, well, I would think that's more like a mural or something. Not really a sculpture or a statue. No, of course not, Lavitz. Now you're just talking crazy. Is there an evil dragoon in there again? What? What's with that? Oh. I don't know, it just looked like a flashy light show to me. But, okay, we can take a look around. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be kind of going around doing relatively useless things. So I'm kind of doing sort of micro-grinding through this area. Well, let's see what this sign says. Oh! Yeah, someone was telling us about that back in town. Well, when aren't you going to be busy then? Can I make an appointment? Well, can't go home without saving that booty. Let's see what we got here. You're, if you're trying to discourage me, you're not doing a very good job. Well, yeah, it's a treasure chest. This is a JRPG. You haven't play, played this one before, have you? Now, here, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a sort of a silver statue behind the sign there. It kind of blends in with the floor, but... Oh, well. But, yeah, remember that for later viewers, what the sign said there. Uh, actually, you know what? Since we're about to get into a battle... Yeah, let's just move around a little here. And let's see what we get. Okay, we got another new enemy there. Strong man on the left there. He can use a fire elemental attack on your entire party. But he can also run away. So I want to use a... Or er, the magic sig stone on him. Before... Attacking him. Because otherwise he would run away. So I'll have Lavitz do the honors. Rose can also help take out this guy. Strong man also has, is... Well, he has quite a bit of speed. He's even faster than all of my party members. I could have had Lavitz attack, but I think he probably would have ran away if I dealt damage to him. He's a scaredy cat like that, I guess. 
Well, we're doing pretty good on that addition. I'll probably want to switch up my additions by the time I get to the end of this place. I mean, for Dart, that is. Assuming I get enough work for him. Might as well put in a little work on your additions, Lavitz. I mean, I do want you to get up to Dragoon level 2. Won't happen by the end of this area, but well, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But anyway, okay, let's see where those stepping stones go to the right there. Oh, they got another one of those little murals. What did that do? Oh, well, yeah, remember you examine one of those things? Yeah, it restores your HP and MP. Hooray! This one is kind of out of the way, though, so... Yeah, it doesn't really help us that much, but it's there. On this screen, there's another one. You can kind of see it on the left wall there. I'm not going to use that right now, but it's just something to keep in mind. There's also some stairs to the left there to another area. But I'm not going to go over there just yet. I'm going to go up here first. Let's see what we can do. Oh, well, let's see what this thing is. I can't tell. It's too small. Huh. That's weird. I wonder what the point of all that is. Maybe it's a lock to some treasure. Well, let's see what we can do. Well, let's start with something pretty simple. Maybe the guy's stupid or something and put the easy to... The, er, no, no, okay. Easy number to find for the lock, but no, no. I guess he has a better n code for his luggage. Not. Well, I already know what the numbers are, but I'm going to show you guys how you're supposed to figure that out. I've heard some people say that the code there is random, or randomly generated, but I've never noticed that. It's always been the same three numbers to me. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's see what we got here. What do you mean? Whoa! Nuts. Oh, so that's what all those railroad tracks are around here. That's what they're for. Kind of a convoluted way of doing things, but okay. Now, coming up here, you're going to see his head hit a sign. Yeah, there's a number for the code there. So we got three, and they, as you see, they only sit there for a split second, so you gotta be quick to see where it is. Okay, five. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be two. Easy enough. Whoa! Nuts. Well, that's one way of getting rid of unwanted guests. Well, it was a trap, apparently. Okay, well, let's see if we can find another way to get through there. But anyway, oh, no, let's head on back up here again. And this time I'm going to be heading to the left of there. I could have done it before, but, well, there's a reason I didn't. Uh, let's see, you know, before using that healing point, let's get into another battle here. Man, I'm running into a lot of gargoyles around here. But anyway, I want to use this... Oh! Actually, hold on. Before doing that... Well, kind of late now. I can use it again, though. But I do want to equip Rose with the physical ring, because I'm going to want that for the end here. So yeah, do that. Get more HP for her, and that'll help out a lot. Okay, now let's uh, go to the left there. You don't have to do this, but... Again, I just want to show you how you're supposed to figure stuff out. Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess? I don't know. But anyway, the reason why I wanted to use the healing point and equip the physical ring... Yeah, once you turn that wheel there, it opens the door that had the residence effect there, and you can't use it again. Nuts. Oh. So, why did you put all these chests here, then? Just to piss people off or something? 
Well, you're not doing a very good job. But anyway, now we can go through that door. Okay, well, at least now we can get here. See what we get for our prize. There's nothing to the left there. But if you go to the right, you got a little golden statue here facing right towards us, I guess. So remember that for later, viewers. We're going to need that hint in order to solve a puzzle coming up here. But, okay, well, now we got that numerical code, so let's check it out. You don't have to have gone through all that rail road cart sequence there, mine cart or whatever. If you've played the game before, you can enter the same code. And even before knowing what it is. There's no optional dialogue or anything like, Wow, you must be psychic! Or something like that. No, no, it doesn't work that way. But anyway, 352... Boom, we get our ladder. Hooray! Well, let's check it out. I would think climbing up there without the ladder wouldn't have been very hard, but okay, whatever. But anyway, if you try going to the top... Whoa! Yeah, you can't make it. Of course, we could try, I don't know, climbing the trees or something, but... Okay, let's try that again. But anyway, if you recall, the silver statue is facing to the left. And the golden statue is facing to the front. And that'll take care of things. So yeah, we don't, well, slide all the way to the, our doom again. Okay, here we got another new enemy. A living statue. Actually, two new enemies, I think. No, no, just the one. A living statue, though. Yeah, that guy, as you saw, can use power-up. That makes him pretty strong against just about anything we can do. So, let's use a magic six stone, so as to render him infinite. And, let's see, I'm gonna go after the strong man first. Yeah, okay, good. I think between Dart and Rose, we should be able to kill the guy before he could potentially run away. Now, as for the statue, other than the power-up effect, there's nothing else he can do that's really special. So, I'm not really worried about him. That's... Yeah, he'll probably run away. Or use a fire attack on my entire party. Yep. Ow. Well, we're not doing too bad on HP. But I would like to be at full before the end here. Hopefully, by the time I'm done with this guy, the other guy, his power-up effect should have worn off. Yeah, man, I gotta be getting really close to mastering Burning Rush by now. I know I haven't yet, because I'm still uh, only getting 75 SP. At max level, you get 100 SP out of Burning Rush. But we still got the job done. Awesome. Might as well try to get a little work in there for Labbit, too. I'm not going to guard heal my party up to max. Because I think I'm going to have probably one more battle before I get to the end. And then we'll take care of business if I need to. I do have some healing potions if it becomes necessary, but I don't think we're doing too poorly. Yeah, you know what? Let's see how Dar is doing there. If the load menu will ever come up. Thank you. Okay, what do we got? Hmm, yeah, probably two more battles, and I think you'll be good to go. I'll check that again before I'm done here for the day. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess? Why would you do that at this point? We've gotten through all the traps around here. I don't know. But anyway, okay, we made it here. Let's see, hmm... Yeah, I'm just going to leave well enough alone there. Okay, let's see how else we're doing here. Uh, Dart, let's put you on Volcano there. 
you're doing pretty good there, Labbit. And, yeah, you're almost done there. So, yeah, I could have used one more battle, but I think we're doing all right. There's still a couple new enemies around here, but we can take care of those guys on the way out here. So, let's just make a backup save file here and see what's at the end of this place. I see a whole bunch of plants around here, but none of them look very legendary to me. Man, I hope they have some around here. Whoa! What was that? Nice. Well, it's kind of the three of us, dude. What's going on? Yeah, we kind of have to save our friend's life. Well, that too. I mean, there is the hero tax. Or we could just take him out. Yeah. Can we defeat him? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.